Welcome back to Steins Gate. Last time we lost the IBN 5100, which we kind of need to hack into the CERN database and find out exactly what is going on because it's probably hidden in that code that they have. So Okrin's not too happy. We're trying to find out what went wrong because Faris and Lukaku both know of the IBN 5100, but Daru and Kurisu and Mayuri don't, which suggests that somehow between, you know, the nine years ago when Faris dropped it off at the shrine and when Okra went to get it, something different happened. We don't know what yet and we don't know which time travel thing affected this. I'm assuming it was the most recent one that we sent the message back to Lukaku's mother, but no one knows for sure. But right now we're on our way to Faris's house to get information from her and, you know, just to try and find this computer. So let's see if they're successful. Well, I look over my shoulder with a frown. Why are you guys tagging along? Mayuri and Daru were following me, even though I didn't ask them to come. Risu stayed back at the lab. Mayushi's never been to Ferris Chan's place. I thought I'd like to visit once. I mean, it's Faris Tan's home. No way I'm missing this. Is there a reason that Mayuri calls her Faris and Daru calls her Faris? Like, why are they using different names? It might be a bad idea to take the Faris stalker along. A really bad idea. Well, whatever. If Faris has a problem with it, then we can send him away when we get there. Nothing else matters as long as I get Faris to search for an IBN 5100. Of course, if the IBN 5100's at Yanabayashi Shrine, then that won't even be necessary. I stopped by the shrine, but Lukaku's not there. I guess he was out when he answered the phone earlier. I've got no other choice, so I go to the humble shrine office and press the intercom button. Luca's dad comes out. When I try asking him if the IBN 5100 was donated to the shrine, he answers, it certainly was. But after he tries looking for it, he says he can't find it anywhere and he has no idea where it went. I ask if he lent me the IBN 5100 before, but that event is gone from his memory. What's going on here? While heading towards Faris's place, I analyze the situation. The IBN 5100 has disappeared from the lab, even though it was there just a few days ago. It has also disappeared from Yanabayashi Shrine. It's like some god is messing with me, moving it every time I get close. The D-mails definitely have something to do with this. I can only begin to imagine how the past has changed. At any rate, it looks like we'll have to rely on Faris. The usual weekend crowd packs the front of Akiba station. Girls dressed in maid outfits and school uniforms diligently distribute flyers to the passersby. I appreciate their efforts in this god-awful heat. Hmm? After a few melanin-boosting moments walking in the sun, I come to a sudden stop. What's wrong? <laughs> Just this tiny little sprite in the background. Of course it's Moeka, of course. We should have expected her to show up. I have caught sight of a woman squatting on the side of the road, hugging her knees and typing on her phone. That's got to be Lab Mem 005, Kuryu Moeka. Wait. Is she still a lab mem? Mayuri and Daru don't remember her. Well, whatever. What luck? There's something I need to ask her. I run up to Moeka. Hey, shining finger. I try getting her attention, but she's stuck in her own little world. IP in, IP in, IP in. 
Okay, question. Does she have the new phone that she had before or has she stuck with the old one? Because then we'd see if at least that changed. Gone, gone, gone. Why is it gone? Why can't I find it? Is it really in this town? Don't tell me it's already... Are you listening, Shining Finger? It should be. should be here. It has to be. FB said so. Who's FB? I'm assuming it's not Facebook. No reaction. Hear you, Moeka. Moeka stops muttering. She finally looks up. Actually, she just looks at my feet. Did you take the IBN 5100 from the lab? Mayuri and Daru look askance at me, but I ignore them. I don't want to believe that it was you. You are a fellow lab mem, after all. But you did display an unhealthy attachment to that computer. So, was it you? You found an IBN 5100? I found one, but it's gone missing. Missing. Don't worry, I won't report you to the police. As long as you return it, that is. The normally expressionless Moeka frowns in bewilderment. You don't remember, do you? Moeka shakes her head faintly. Then she looks down and begins operating her phone at high speed. What a surprise! I've got mail! Shiny Finger, what? You're not making any sense. Please explain. Did you really find an IBN 5100 where? She really doesn't know? If the IBN 5100 had been stolen from the lab, then Moeka would be my first suspect. But... The IBN 5100 disappeared from Yanabayashi's shrine, not the lab. It can't have been Moeka's doing. So it was the D-mail? Or perhaps it was the work of CERN? I'm sorry, Finger. I squat in front of Moeka and bow my head. I suspected you. A lab mem. A comrade. I'm the worst sort of man. Hit me, please. I don't mind. But there's one thing I want you to know. In my long years running from the organization, I've grown unable to trust anyone. Why? Why did I have to be born with these gifts that others so covet? Once I start to suspect, everyone looks suspicious. No matter how many comrades gather around me, I always feel alone. Pitiful, aren't I? Ooh, and a new text. Alright already, just tell me about the IBN. 5100, Moeka. Did you just ignore my entire speech? Hey, Ogarin. You're doing improv in the middle of the street. Has the heat gone to your head? 
so Moeka doesn't know I had an IBN 5100. And judging by her responses, she hasn't found one either. I feel like I'm getting farther and farther away from my goal. I've been thinking. Moika Sancho is pretty, isn't she? She's got a nice figure and she's tall too. She'd look great in one of my costumes. No. <laughs> what? For a second, I doubt my ears. I approach Mayuri. You've met Moeka before? Yeah, I have! When? I grab Mayuri by the shoulders and shake her. Her head bounces back and forth. Did? Daru, do you remember her? Sure. We met at the lab. After Moeka sent her D mail, Mayuru, da Mayuru? Mayuri, Daru, and Kurisu behaved as if they had never met her before. But now both Mayuri and Daru know her? Does that mean Moeka's past was reconstructed again? Given the timing, it has to be Lukaku's D-mail that did it. But all he did was tell his mother to eat a lot of vegetables. How can that be related to the lab mem's knowledge of Moeka? Is this another example of the butterfly effect? The cause doesn't match the effect at all. Oh, Krin, we need to get going. Faris Chan's waiting, remember? That's true. Let's think about the Moeka issue later. Right now, we should look for the address written on the memo pad. By the way, Mayuri, what's Faris's real name? Whoa, Ogre, and hold on there. Faris Tan's name is Faris Nyan Nyan. She doesn't have any other names. Base reality, Daru. Faris Nyan Nyan is just her professional name. Uh, you're the worst. Why do you have to crush my dreams like that, man? Quit grumbling. You just can't handle the truth. Well, Mayuri, don't you know? Mm, is it okay for Mayushi to tell you? It's not like you took a vow of secrecy, right? And besides, we're visiting her home, so we'll find out soon enough. Oh, I, I guess you're right. But just promise me you'll keep it secret, okay? Like from the masters who come to May Queen? I nod. Okay, Ferris Chan's real name is Akiha Rumiho Chan. 
あーあー、聞こえなーい。No, no, no, not listening. Daru covers his ears and drowns the sound out. あ、聞こえ。Yeah. The same characters as in Akihabara. Appropriate. That is a tall building. Wow. Our destination turns out to be the high rise apartment building next to UPX. Wow. Hello, Daru. <laughs> wow. Awesome. Wait. Seriously? She lives here? We stand there for a while, staring wide eyed at the towering building before us. According to the address Faris gave me, she lives on the top floor, all the way up there. God, I'd hate to have to get a lift up there. I don't like lifts anyway. Did we get the wrong address? No, I wouldn't make such a stupid mistake. Don't tell me Faris is working for the organization. I quickly scan the area. No suspicious figures in sight. Does she have men in black waiting to haul us off to a re education camp? Nice delusion, man. The truth is stranger than fiction. Besides, don't you think it would be super moe if Faris Tan turned out to be a rich girl character? Nice delusion yourself, man. Anyway, let's go in. When we call the top floor room via intercom, we're greeted by the voice of an elderly man. He lets us in immediately once I introduce myself as Hoenn Kilmer. It feels like we're walking into a trap, but I can't turn back now. Wow, that's fancy. When we get off the elevator, the elderly man from the intercom is there to lead us inside. He turns out to be a silver haired gentleman in a tuxedo. Oh my god, is he a butler? Because that's amazing. A real life butler? He does indeed look like a stereotypical butler. He fits the bill so well, you wouldn't think he was anything else. Mistress, Mr. Hoenn Kyoma and friends have arrived. Wow, she's super rich. The butler leads us into a room. Faris is standing before a large window with a panoramic view of Akiba. Oh, she looks so cute! Thanks, Kyokinya. I've never seen her wearing anything other than the usual maid uniform, so it's refreshing to see her in her plain clothes. But why does she still have her cat ears on? I want to ask. I can't help but wonder. But I restrain myself. Even if I did ask, Faris would just say something like, I was born with these, nya? And came too, Nyan? Oh, how many times am I going to have to say Nya or Nyan in this video? Faris's eyes twinkle when she sees Mayuri and Daru behind me. Faris chan, good afternoon, Nyan Nyan! Mm, casual Faris Tan, too cute. I silence the mouth breathing Daru by introducing his ribs to my elbow. They followed me. If you don't want them here, I'll send them home. No far off my back, Nya! Everyone's welcome, Nyan! Wait, you talk like that even in your own home? What do you mean, Nya? 
Gonna play dumb, Akia Rumiho? Faris wa Faris nya. Faris is Faris nya. Whatever. Shikashi, kono iye wa ittai dou yu koto da. Akiba no ittouchi no chou kokyu mansion to wa. Fine. What I really want to know is how you get to live in a luxury apartment in Akiba's best district. I look around the room again. The interior design and furnishings give a very refined impression. It's elegant without being ostentatious. Actually, it's kind of like a model home, and I'm gonna check my mail. Assistant. Oh, that's, um, Teresu. Uh, please, while you're out, can you buy me a fork? Because I want my own fork. And get some cup noodles for dinner too. I think there's a brand called Genshin Ramen. Get those. Okay, so my own fork, I can say, you already have your own spoon. Why don't you have a fork even though you have a spoon? Are you stupid? Okay, or my assistant really loves her cup noodles. I'm going to start calling you Kawike san I'm going with that one. That one seems more fun. Like, you know, he's not calling her stupid in it. And he's calling her something else, but he's not calling her stupid. <laughs> okay. There's nothing to suggest that this room is lived in. No dirty clothes, no used dishware, not even a speck of dust. I mean, she does have a butler, so you'd expect it to be clean. That butler, or maybe even some real maids, if there's a butler, there have to be maids, right? Must be constantly cleaning up. Speaking of the butler, he's disappeared. I didn't even notice him leave. He's clearly a master butler if he can move so quietly. Faris, just who are you? Like I said, Faris is Faris, yeah? Faris says it so nonchalantly. Don't play dumb. If you don't explain yourself, I'm leaving. No. How arrogant. We're the ones who came here to ask Faris Tan for a favor, aren't we? Well, if you must know. This land originally belonged to my family, yeah? Huh? What did she just say? This land originally belonged to her family? Oh, so that's why you're Akiha-san! Mayuri's exclamation connects the dots in my head. Akiha! You mean you're descended from the hereditary landholders of Akihabara? Faris nods with a proud expression. So she really is a rich girl character. By the way, Faris has considerable influence on Akihabara's development, Nyan. Faris wriggles her slender waist and makes a gesture like a cat washing its face. It was Faris who convinced the development board to actively promote Moe culture in Akiba, Nya. Wow, that's amazing! I've been going to development meetings since I was little, Nya. So basically, the chaotic changes in Akiba are all a result of this cat girl's whims? What a monster! But please keep all this a secret, Nyan. Faris's expression suddenly darkens. Why? You wanna know, Nya? Faris approaches me with a bewitching expression. That's because... 
Faris gently strokes my cheek with her cool, slender fingers. I feel myself falling under her spell. And then... She grins. Faris is Faris, Nya! Damn you, cat girl! How dare you make a fool of me! I want all my fans to keep treating me the same as always. Nyan. Daru starts fist pumping when he sees Faris's cutesy act. Uh, I'll treat you. I'll treat you at full force. Mayushi's your fan too! Your mate spirit is really amazing! Mayuri and Daru might have fallen for her charms, but not I. I don't care about any of this! I thrust my finger at Faris. Do not defy me, Faris Nyan Nyan, or I'll paint your expensive wallpaper with blood. Well, that escalated quickly. Wow! You called me to your home so you could show off your status and try to gain leverage in our negotiations. But it's futile. For oh, you are dealing with the insane mad scientist Hoen Kyoma. What kind of reason is that? <laughs> Perfect. Now Faris will tremble in fear and beg for my forgiveness. Or so I thought, but instead she looks at me with gleaming eyes. Yeah, Faris loves forceful men, Nyan. Okay. Getting to know a lot about Faris this session. No. Dato? What did she say? Daru is probably having a heart attack now. He's just oh, dying. <laughs> That's my line. I wanted to threaten her, not seduce her. Is Faris a masochist? Honestly, Faris didn't want to talk so much about herself, Nya. Most people, when they learn who I am, stop seeing me as Faris, Nya. They only see the Akiha name. Faris and Akiha Rumiho are to see you in the Faris and Akiha Rumiho want to be seen as separate persons, Nya. There's nothing to separate. You are Faris Nyan Nyan, are you not? Nyan。その点については全面的に同意するぜ、オカリン。ニャンニャン語を話し、猫耳をつけている時点で、そこにいるのはフェイリスタンだ。the ones I agree with you, Okarin. Whenever she speaks Nyan 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 and wears her cat ears, she is Faristan. You're just being overly self conscious, Faris. I don't know, Nya. I'm serious. To me, you will always be the unbeatable cat-eared maid. <laughs> Thanks, Kiyoma. Why is she thanking me? Well, she's probably admiring my incredible magnanimity. I can speak. What? <laughs> now then, let's finish this idle gossip and get down to business. <laughs> IBN 
Aris, you said there would be a price to pay in exchange for your help acquiring an IBN 5100. What is your price? Do not test the limits of my goodwill. If I unseal my right arm for even an instant, everything will be destroyed and nothing will remain. Just so you know. Fine by me, Nya. Faris points at the cat ears sticking out of her head. These cat ears have the power to negate all other powers. Nyan Nyan clear. When Kyoma's power is unleashed, Faris will stop it. Nya? <sighs> I shouldn't have mentioned my hand to Faris. Faris's most terrifying power is one known as Dubbing Ten. It allows her to steal other people's stories and add them to her own. I'm the one who named it, of course. The number ten doesn't really mean anything. Well, I guess I'll tell you, Nya. My price. Faris chuckles. But I notice something. Her eyes aren't smiling. It's to let me use your time machine, Nya. Yes, I had a feeling that was it. I heard what you said at May Queen yesterday. You've built a time machine. Indeed, we have created the first successful time machine in human history. Uh, CERN was the first? But don't misunderstand. Time machine we call it a time machine, but it's not the kind you can hop into and fly to whenever you want. All we can do is send a 36-byte email to someone's phone in the past. But even that is worthy of a Nobel Prize in Physics. It is a transcendental super invention that will alter the course of human history forever. It can send an email to someone in the past? That's awesome! Faris wants to use it, Nya! Faris jumps up and down with joy. The time machine is our lab's greatest secret. If you want to use it, then you must become a lab mem. A lab mem? What's that, Nya? Well, it means you get to be a part of our club. Mayushi would be super happy if Ferris Chan became a lab mem. Same here. Toyuka, Dai, Gun, Gay. That would be all right. Please join, I'm begging here. How do I become a lab man, Nya? There's no contract. We only require that you perform the blood oath. 
私の名役。Blood oath? I kind of feel like if anyone would be up for making a blood oath, it would be Faris. The window is closed, but a gust of wind blows through the room. It's coming from the air conditioner. But outside the window, I see rain clouds cover the sky. I hear the rumbling of thunder inside my brain. Nanji. Faris nyan nyan yo. Initiate yori. ハイエンシェントワードにて語り継がれる法典に従いラボメンへと加わることを望むのならばバラスニャンニャン If thou dost desire to join the hallowed order of lab mems then by the code passed down in high ancient from an age long forgotten その肉その骨その血を天の杯へと捧げることを誓い名役という名の洗礼を受けよ。Pledge thy flesh, thy bone, thy blood, and thy soul to the grail of heaven, and swear fealty everlasting. Daru's face is like, oh my god, what are you doing, o k u n He's like, oh no. さすれば、古代の神はそれに答え、何時にラボメンナンバーを授けるだろう。This duty fulfilled, the old gods shall grant thee thy lab mem number. I didn't understand a word of that. Oh no, what do I do? Mayushi never ate any blood loaf. Does that mean Mayushi's not a lab member? Blood loaf, oh my god. She's so. Oh, oh my Yuri. Mayushi, Shombori, she's not the most okay. Korewa Okari no itsumo no kse na no da ze. Don't worry, Mayushi, this is just Okarin's usual nonsense. So, ka. Itsumo no kse na ra shikata na i ne. Demo yo kata. Oh, I guess everything's fine then. Thank goodness. Very well, Nya. I shall take the blood oath, Nya. With a grim expression, Faris grabs a small knife on top of her desk. Like, okay, can, can you stop her? And suddenly slashes it against her wrist. Did no <laughs> one step in? Yeah. Oh. Paper knife show. Uh, isn't that a paper knife? <laughs> Daru chan. Daru chan? Daru nyan's right, nya. Oh, she super surprised me. Super? That didn't say super. What am I reading? I clear my throat and pull myself together. <clears throat> <laughs> Very well, Faris. I invest you as Lab Mem 007. The only one with a license to kill. I've, do, I've been waiting for 007, <laughs> honestly. <laughs> Perfect. So now I can use the time machine, yeah? Oh, so you got it. Tadashi Tagon Muyoda. Indeed, but not a word to anyone. Death to traitors. That's the law of the lab. It is? No, Okarin made it up just now. Faris hugs me by the neck. A very sweet aroma tickles my nose. And something very soft tickles my. Ogren, oh you jerk! I helped make the phone wave too! Really, Nya? And Darunyan too! Faris flies over to Daru. 
オカリンオカリンフェリスちゃんが喜んでくれてよかったね I'm glad she's so happy, o k a r i n Mayuri, oh my, but it's in Mujaki. Mayuri, you really are innocent. I take out my phone and put it to my ear. Oh, Reda. Ah, Fairies were mum mato. What an omakuni hamatta. Shose, Junara say no comusme to you, Kotoda. It's me. Yeah, I've got her wrapped around my finger. What did you expect? She's just a 17 year old girl. That cat girl thinks she's bargained with me to appease her lust for mankind's dream, the forbidden fruit that is the time machine. この俺、法院教魔の手のひらの上で踊らされていることに気づいていない。She's dancing to the tune of Ho and Kyoma <笑>。俺が猫娘との条件を受けた理由だと？そんなもの決まっているだろう。<笑>すなわち。Why did I agree to pay her price? You ask. That should be obvious. Then I twist my lips into a grin. My razor sharp shark teeth are probably glistening right now. Damn, I wish I had shark teeth. That cat girl shall be our guinea pig. I'm a monster? What a terrible thing to say. Not that you're wrong, exactly. Our D mail experiments have reached a standstill. Karisu refuses to become a subject, and Mayuri and Daru are too dumb to be useful. I don't think Daru's that dumb. Well, at certain things. Mayuri seems just generally dumb overall at everything. Daru knows how to do some things, like hack. We managed to experiment on Maweka and Lukako, but we still need more data. Along comes Faris. She's going to provide me with both an IBN 5100 and new data. Two birds with one stone. Oh. Right. Faris thinks she's using us. <laughs> but it is we who are using her. She is but a moth drawn to my brilliant flame. I'm kind of just picturing Okarin saying this into his phone, like a normal volume, and Faris and Daru were just hearing everything and just looking at him like, What are you talking about? <laughs> As planned, we are proceeding to the next phase of the experiment. This is the choice of Stein's Gate. L Psi Congru. Someone taps me on the shoulder after I put away my phone. Right after that, They blow into my ear. <laughs> Who are you talking to, Nya? Faris is behind me. She must have finished servicing Daru while I was still on the phone. No doubt she heard everything. I mean, like, you could have waited until you'd left for that conversation. <laughs> It's too late, Faris Nya Nya. You've already taken the blood oath. If you break it, ruin will befall you. There is no escape. Okay, yeah, so where's the time machine, yeah? 
He's certainly in a hurry. Time machine. Say, Then what did you cook? Carito Yobuga. So they were a lab on you. The time machine? Its name is the phone wave name subject to change, by the way, is in our lab. 